People are traveling around the world more than ever before, and global trade networks are allowing us access to more and more commodities. However, this can mean plants and animals are accidentally, or sometimes intentionally, introduced to regions of the world where they have not occurred before and where they may cause problems. When a species is introduced to an area outside its native region, it is termed a non-native species or alien species. Although many of these plants and animals, or the pathogens they might carry, will not survive in the new environment, sometimes they do. And when they do, they may rapidly reproduce, spread and cause significant damage to the environment, the economy, our health, or the way we live. These are termed invasive alien species. The rate at which alien species are being introduced to new regions globally has increased dramatically in the last 200 years and is showing no signs of slowing. Research suggests that the increase in trade and global connectivity of trade networks play a major part in the introduction of alien species. An EU-funded research project called Alien Challenge brought together experts from Europe and across the world to work collaboratively to compile and harmonize information about alien species within Europe. From this, they considered approaches for monitoring the arrival and spread of invasive alien species. These scientists will continue to work together, as well as with other researchers and policymakers, through a new action called Alien CSI and a Belgian project called TRIAS, which aim to increase understanding of alien species through citizen science. So they also need your help. Everyone can help to prevent the introduction and spread of invasive alien species by reporting any that you see and by being aware of biosecurity. Get involved and help stop alien invasions. The Cost Action Alien Challenge and Alien CSI are research networks funded by the Cost Programme, European Cooperation in Science and Technology. TRIAS is funded by the Belgian Science Policy Office.